the pediatric emergency room at Golisano Children's Hospital. In spite of its kid-friendly atmosphere, the setting can be downright unnerving. Scared parents, anxious children, children who can't tell us what's going on with them, what they're feeling necessarily, can't describe some of their symptoms. Dr. Tia Manning augments her physical exam with clinical lab tests. The speed and scope of testing plays an increasingly important role in healthcare. In the emergency setting, um, it's important for us to have ready access to certain labs. It helps us rule things in, rule things out. Nationwide lab tests guide more than 70 percent of medical decisions. While hospitals make up the smallest share of lab locations, they run more tests than any other provider. The lab within Health Park Medical Center runs about 2.4 million tests a year, most results back within 30 minutes. Ultimately, the doctor and the nurse see the patient. They can tell what's going on with them physically, but until they get the lab results, nothing's a proven. While the patient would never enter this part of the hospital, chances are a sample of their blood will. From this lab, medical technologists analyze blood and fluid for everything from medication levels, heart attack, bacteria, and viruses. Most of the time when you tell people what you do, they think it's you drew their blood and they don't realize that after that it goes through 20 different steps once they get their blood down to the lab. A common test is the respiratory panel, providing doctors a lot of information in short order. It tests for uh, 17 different respiratory viruses to help determine how they're going to treat the patient. It makes a big difference in determining whether a child is in serious jeopardy. Or if this is something as simple as a cough and cold. The bottom line, hospital labs are yielding results. For Lane Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.